even if and even though. This video is sponsored by the following English learning websites. The word even has many meanings in English. In this video, we'll focus on how the word is used to introduce phrases and clauses. For example, I will go to the movie even though I am sick. I will go to the movie even if I am sick. What is the difference between these two sentences? Think about it. Simply put, even though introduces a true situation to show slight contrast. Even if introduces an imaginary or conditional situation. For example, even though I am sick. I really am sick, but I will go anyway. Even if I am sick. I might be sick, or I might not. But I will go in either case. Both even if and even though introduce a type of contrast. For example, I won't buy that car even though I can afford it. I won't buy that car even if I can afford it. This is what the sentences mean. Number one, I have the money, but I won't buy the car. Two, I might have the money, but I still won't buy the car. Even if mostly occurs in the future tense. The main reason is that the future has not occurred yet, so we can speculate about it. That is, we can imagine what might happen in future situations. For example, even if it rains tomorrow, no one knows for sure if it will rain or not. Even if I get married next year, I might get married next year or not. Can these be used in other tenses? Yes. Even though is commonly used in most tenses, even if not so much. That's because even if introduces a conditional situation and that requires a special type of grammar. Let's focus on even though first. Note these examples. Even though I like chocolate, I don't eat it very much. Present tense. Even though I liked the soup, I didn't eat much of it. Past tense. Even though I'm driving, I can listen to the radio. Present progressive or continuous tense. Even though I have finished the pizza, I am still hungry. Present perfect tense. What about even if? Usually, even if follows the rules used with other conditionals. Note the following examples. If I have enough money, I will buy a house. Real conditional. If I had enough money, I would buy a house. Unreal conditional. If I had had enough money, I would have bought a house. A house. Past unreal conditional. We will deal with these in another video. Now, watch what happens when we introduce the word even into the sentences. With even. Even if I have enough money, I won't buy a house. Even if I had enough money, I wouldn't buy a house. Even if I had had enough money, I wouldn't have bought a house. Did you see what happened? The grammar didn't change, but a contrast was introduced by the word even. One part of the sentence is positive, the other part is negative. Let's look at some examples. Even if I have enough money, I will buy a house. This doesn't work. There are two positives, so there's no contrast in ideas. Even if I don't have enough money, I won't buy a house. This doesn't work either. There are two negative ideas. Even if I don't have enough money, I will buy a house. This one is okay. One idea is positive and the other is negative. 
problems with even if and even though. The biggest mistake people make with this is omitting the words after even. For example, even I left home early, I missed the plane. Incorrect. Even though I left home early, I missed the plane. Even I run fast, I won't catch it. Incorrect. Even if I run fast, I won't catch it. Punctuation problems. When the even if or even though clause or phrase comes at the beginning of a sentence, it is followed by a comma. When it comes at the end of the sentence, no comma is necessary. For example, even though he went on a diet, comma, Hugo couldn't lose weight. Hugo couldn't lose weight even though he went on a diet. Even if she gets up now, comma, Louise won't make it to work on time. She won't make it to work on time even if she gets up now. Notes. Even though and although can be used interchangeably, but punctuation rules still apply. For example, although I finished my homework, comma, I forgot to turn it in on time. Even though I finished my work, comma, I forgot to turn it in on time. Mr. Lenient gave me credit, although my homework was late. Mr. Lenient gave me credit, even though my homework was late. Ready for some practice? Tell whether the following sentences are correct or incorrect. Feel free to pause the video and take as much time as you need for this exercise. Here are the answers. Number 1. Even though I studied hard, I didn't pass the test. Incorrect. We need a comma here. Even though I studied hard, comma, I didn't pass the test. 2. Even I hurry, I won't get to the station on time. Incorrect. Even if I hurry, I won't get to the station on time. 3. Jen didn't win the race even though she ran fast. Okay. 4. Even Denny was tired, he played his best game. Incorrect. Even though Denny was tired, he played his best game. 5. Even if you eat a lot, you might not gain weight. OK. 6. Even if you get a ticket, you will get a good seat. Incorrect. Even if you get a ticket, you won't get a good seat. Notice the contrast here. 7. I didn't improve even I practiced every day. Incorrect. I didn't improve even though I practiced every day. 8. I want to sing in the choir, although I'm not very good. OK. 9. Even if you don't speak, I know what you mean. OK. 10. Even though you bought it, you wouldn't be happy. Incorrect. Even if you bought it, you wouldn't be happy. Practice speaking, even though. Think of some situations in which you might act differently than expected. For example, even though I love cake, I only eat it occasionally. Think of your own situations and sentences with even though. Try it in the past tense. For example, 
even though I had a bicycle when I was young, I seldom rode it. Make your own sentences with even though. Pause the video and take as much time as you would like for this activity. Practice speaking, even if. Think of some situations in which conditions might change. What might you do regardless of the situation? For example, even if I move to Texas, I won't quit my job. Think of your own situations and sentences with even if. Challenging. Try it using past conditions. For example, even if I had moved to Texas, I wouldn't have quit my job. Try making your own sentences with even if. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like more time for this. Hope that was helpful. If you learned from this video, please give it a thumbs up in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you have, have ideas for future videos, please let us know. Send your ideas to the following page.